This is 365 2010 Too Much Dave, episode 9. 9. Yes, episode 9. Um, so the deal here, I, I've been thinking about, I just saw Scott Leslie was taking a run at me while I was in bed, chicken, um, and was saying that he was surprised I hadn't actually commented on the open stuff, which of course I had here in the in the video blog. But uh, he yesterday had tweeted something about a PLE conference, and every time I see PLE, I keep thinking the same thing. Why do you want to own that kind of learning environment? How can a how can a networked environment be personal? And what does it mean for it to be personal? And what are the epistemological ramifications of it being personal? Is the knowledge different for me? Is the learning somehow uh, fundamentally personal? Did, Granted, I influence the network, and there are ways in which I choose from the network, which are um, choices that I'm going to end up making, making those choices personal. But is the environment personal, or is the uh, the learning or the knowledge? I, I just, I'm not sure. Uh, so the word bugs me. It, it just bugs me, and I'm cranky. Um, the same kind of issue. I've been sent links to the wirekey.com um, website several times and I actually took some time to, to read over a few things this time by people that I quite like and people who think that there's going to be a connection between the work that John Husband has done here and the the writing that I end up doing around rhizome theory and epistemology and there certainly is and, and there's some really good work here and some really good business research done as, as Bonnie was saying my partner who is just reading over this as well because she's working on her PhD application um, and some very interesting stuff. However, there's one thing in here that I keep seeing jump out at me, and that's a real kind of accepted epistemological view of something that is inherently networked. So what you end up with is um, the, the quote, the working definition of hierarchy is a dynamic two-way flow of power and authority based on knowledge, trust, credibility, and a focus of results enabled by inter interconnected people and technology. So it's two-way flow, back and forth. Um, you've got A, B there, which inherently I don't particularly like because there's something about that that focuses on the individual in a way that I don't think is really a networked approach and um, I'm not sure I'm right about this but this is where I keep getting stuck every time the personal learning environment thing comes up every time this or anybody talks network theory anytime I hear connectivism I keep thinking who is this person and why do they keep trying to own everything and as you go down through his description of hierarchy it's the same you run I run into the same kinds of things so it's a, it's how does this affect the person and now, granted, I'm biased. I'm a community theory, and I have this idea that, that knowledge exists within the interactions between groups, and, and the connections all kind of work out that way. So I'm super biased about this. Um, but I keep thinking that there is a place beyond the looking at all this from a single individual's perspective that is the end result of where we're going, or at least is the next step along this road. And... I don't know if it requires more of a uh, an epistemic analysis of, of what it is we're trying to get done. That same question all the time. Sure, it's education, but what does it mean to be educated and what are we trying to do? Is it just normalizing all the rest of that stuff? Um, so I would love to hear back from whoever else is out there and, and sort of hear what kind of, how this strikes you. Is it possible that I'm just losing my mind and inherently this kinds up coming back to the individual, which I don't, I'm not sure about, but I'm certainly willing to hear arguments. Um, or do we need to let go of this idea, at least theory-based? I mean, at some point, a, a given individual has to sit in front of a given computer and has to interact in a given way. But fr from a theory perspective, do we need to let go of this idea of ownership in order to get a better understanding of how the network works and how it impacts the way that we work. Because I just wonder if we're not seeing all of this stuff through a lens, through a fogged lens, trying to bring it back to ourselves, trying to put ourselves forward, where in reality, that's just a map that we're putting on top of what's actually there. Anyway, that's uh, almost five minutes of my one minute show. Thanks very much for tuning in to 365 2010. 
too much Dave, and today you really got too much Dave. Cheers.